sometimes it would seem to me life throws up such huge challenges that it takes a remarkable person to overcome them. We've all had challenges in our life. I don't think anybody, though, has had quite the amount of a challenge to deal with as our next guest, TV presenter, fundraiser, philanthropist and best-selling author, Katie Piper, joins us now live in the studio to talk about, amongst other things, inner strength. Good morning, Katie. Good morning. And I don't want to dwell too much on the past. Your story, and it's a dreadful story, is well known. Um, have there been times since that attack which changed your life and could have completely ruined your life, that acid attack all those years ago? Were there ever times when you thought, I haven't got the strength, I can never overcome this? Absolutely, yeah. I think um, it would be fair to say that was a lot of the time in the beginning of my own recovery. And I think it made me realise I never understood um, what inner strength truly was and that actually it's in each and every one of us. Because it's really easy in life to look at people and say, well, that he's a strong person or he's a lucky person or he's this, he's that. I'm never going to be that. And actually, it's in each and every one of us. We've just got to tap into it. And sometimes until we're tested, we don't know. And did you get help from anybody counselling? Did you resort to kind of faith did you turn to things like meditation or yoga a bit of all of the above um and it's interesting actually because this week i've been um carrying out research on inner strength um with special k nourish and i went to meet other women that had been through similar things like me and i was asking them the same questions what got you through how did you tap into it and um i wasn't surprised to see some of the top things were um that family bond there's family ties and i think that was a big thing for me sure aside from the counseling and the medical help but having that family network behind you really helped me kind of do it for them when I couldn't do it for myself. There's always that that, that magnet almost pulling us towards the negative. How can we overcome that? Well, I know from the women that I met and interviewed, um, a lot of them now had a new perspective on life and um, one of them had survived um, cancer and, you know, it kind of... We had the similarity, me and her, where actually you do appreciate what you've got because you did nearly almost lose it all. And I think that perspective is important because often we we don't live the life we have. We live the life we, we're trying to live the life we want to have. We might see it on social media. We're aspiring for stuff we're never going to get. You've got to make the best of you, whatever that situation is. And that's one of the problems with social media, isn't it? You see people posting very positive pictures on Facebook, Instagrams, they'll tweet positive stuff, and then you get the dark side, if you like, and you get those people who resent anybody's success or openness or even seem to want to shut down debate. And women seem to be on the receiving end of an awful lot of hideous trolling and misogynistic remarks via social media. Yeah, I think it's really tough, and I suppose it's all about... um maturity online and knowing that everything you see online is an edit of somebody's life because they want to show you the best bits and like you said the attitudes they may project towards you they probably wouldn't say it to your face but this goes back to that resilience that inner strength I know I could go on Twitter or Facebook and feel good enough about myself my life my appearance to ignore John from Scarborough or whatever he he wants to say to me or about me I've got to that inner strength where it's irrelevant to me but it wasn't easy it's taken me eight years to get to that a huge pleasure to see you. Lovely to see you again. You look fantastic Thank as well. You. Katie Piper, the, her most recent uh, volume of autobiography I've got is Things Get Better. And that research was carried out on behalf of Special K Nourish about confidence, motivation, and inner strength. On the way, talking of inner strength, she's on fire this morning. Julia Hartley Brewer, GBH on the radio from JHB on Talk Radio. Have a fantastic weekend and keep it tuned to talk for Julia Hartley Brewer.